Hey guys, it's Danny Bell. Today we're on day 27 on Everbell. Yeah, so crazy thing, okay? So full disclosure, Isabel has no news for us today, but in actuality, um, we have Whitney moved in today. <laughs> um, I accidentally picked the wrong day when I was um, adjusting my date <laughs> for today's video, so my apologies. Um, we did actually miss the day when she moved into in, in boxes, and so I feel like at this point she should be fully moved in which I'm really excited about um she was actually the camper that we got um the other day at our campsite so I'm really excited I love Whitney <laughs> and I'm really excited to see what her house looks like I've never had her before so I'm not super familiar with what her interior is like um but the good news is we should hopefully get a peek at that today since she should already be fully moved in hey Fauna <laughs> Oh, I love the normals. They're so sweet. They always just have the sweetest little things to say. <laughs> so let's run over to Whitney's. I want to see if she's around, if she's home, because I'd really like to take a peek inside of her house and see um, what it looks like in there. It's a little bit rainy today again. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at her house. It's so cute. Oh my gosh, the color. I didn't realize it was like this turquoisey color so cute i love this it looks like a little cottage she's resting oh she's still sleeping <laughs> i love how the snooty types say deers i think it's just so cute <laughs> it's like this weird passive aggressive snootiness <laughs> anyways we'll have to check back in with her i suppose um let's take a peek at what some of the other villagers are doing and i think what we're gonna do today is do a little bit of island hopping um Sadly, the other day, um, we had meant to ask to leave. Hey, Raymond. So I guess what that means is, is that unfortunately, since I just spent all that time building that tree house for mint, um, she moved out, <laughs> which is like a little bit tragic, honestly, but check it out. We've got an open plot. Um, so that means we get to do some island hopping. So this is going to be really exciting. Um, the only thing that's unfortunate is I, I really had my heart set on having a squirrel up here in this tree house area. So I don't know if we'll get lucky enough um, to find another squirrel today. I'm really kind of hoping so, but if not, we'll have to do some moving around of the houses on the island um, going forward just because I do want there to be somebody up here in this cute space that belongs in a tree. So <laughs> we'll have to see what we come up with. I'm just going to cut through here. This is Lily Swamp. I did end up adding a few finishing touches to it just to sort of polish it up a little bit after the video the other day. So um, let's pop in and say hi to Marty. I haven't seen him. So let's see what he's up to. Our little scout camp leader. <laughs> oh, he's building something. Hi, Marty. He is so cute. <laughs> the lazy types always talk about their sticky, sticky, gross items that they have. <laughs> He's so funny. Do you guys like the Sanrio characters? Let me know in the comments who your favorite is. Um, I've tried out Chai on one of my other islands and I really liked her. She was cute. Um, and I'm a huge fan of, of course, Marty. And I really, really love Toby. Like, he was also one that I had on... Um, Coco Bell, my tropical island, and he's adorable. So, yeah, let me know in the comments who your favorite is. I'm curious to know, like, what the popular consensus is on the Sanrio characters, if you guys had a chance to snag some of those amiibos. We're going to pop in and say hi to Bo because we really love him and we don't ever want him to leave. <laughs> oh. He's giving me some boots. That's so cute. I love when they give you helpful, useful things. Oh, Lalbo, I don't know if these hiking boots are going to be very fashionable, but they definitely will go with my outfit. <laughs> oh, <laughs> cute. Since he was so sweet to give us that gift, I guess we'll wear the hiking boots for our island hopping today. <laughs> All right, so let's head over here. I got some Nook Miles tickets in my pocket, so let's head over to the airport and start doing some island hopping. I'm really excited. I hope we're able to find somebody foresty 
today. Um, I really, really want a squirrel. I don't know who. I was kind of looking up the different squirrels in the game um, before this just to kind of prepare to get some ideas of who I would want. I would love to have Marshall here. He's just got the cute little sassy face and the grumpy little scowl on his face. I just, I think he's so cute and I love the, the um, smug types. So I think he would be great to have him in Treehouse. Um, I also am considering Nibbles. She is the same coloring as um, Mint. She's sort of like that bright green, like a minty, bright, turquoisey green color. So that would be kind of cute. Plus she's a peppy type, I think. And I really think um, I need another peppy type on the island because we only have Piper. So I would really consider that. Um, I want to say Sally the squirrel would be a good option. She's cute. She's sort of like a, a brown or tan color and she's really cute. Got cute little eyelashes. So, but we'll see who we can find. Foresty is the, is the, um, goal here. So, Ooh, a bamboo Island. That could be good. Let's see who's here. <gasps> it's a cub. Who is this? Olive. Oh my gosh. She's so cute. Okay, so I've actually been really wanting her for Everbell, but we already have Marty. And we have Grizzly, even though he's not a cub, he's a full-size bear. I feel like if I take her, oh my gosh, she's so cute though. I feel like she's a very popular pick, especially for people that have forest core and cottage core um, islands. I tend to see her a lot um, visiting dreams, and I really, really, really love her. She's so cute. I've never had her. I've always wanted her, but I feel like since I have Marty, I don't know that I really want to do two cubs right now on the island. Um, maybe at some point if Marty has to leave, um, I would consider getting a different cub um, to replace him. It's just really hard to leave her behind because I don't see her a whole lot island hopping. <sighs> I hate that. And that's the first ticket too. Okay. I think we're just going to have to leave her behind. I hate to say it because she's so darn cute, but we literally just started and I've been waiting an eternity. It feels like to do Island hopping forever bell. So let's go ahead and leave. Um, I'm just going to hope really, really, really hope that we, <laughs> that we get somebody better. Oh my gosh. I'm so sad. I feel like this might be a mistake. All right, we're gonna we're just gonna roll the dice and we're gonna say we're gonna keep going because we just started. So I feel like that's the right thing to do. <sighs> I hope I don't regret this choice. <laughs> All right, here we go, island number two. Let's see who we can find today. <gasps> oh, it's an alligator. Okay, I've seen this guy before. What is his name? He's got spots on his head. I think his name is Boots. Let's go over and say hello. And I don't remember what type he is. Where are you? Come talk to me. <laughs> Boots, yeah. <laughs> oh, I think he's a jock type. Okay, well, I do eventually, I think, want a different jock. I've got, I'm stuck with Goose for the moment, and he's a jock, so I figure maybe when Goose moves out, replacing him with another jock would be good because I do want variety for the personalities um for anyone that's not familiar you you can learn different reactions from different personality villagers so it's definitely a good idea to have a nice balance of all the different types if you can on your island um just because it does give you more variety on what reactions you can learn from the villagers so okay let's see who's here island number three who's here Another alligator! Drago! He's cute! He's like a little, I think, Chinese dragon. Um, he's really cute. I really like him a lot, but he doesn't fit our theme, but he is really cool. I like him. <laughs> I think he's a lazy type too, which I'm a huge fan of. But that's a lot of talk about dipping things in gravy, so <laughs> we're gonna keep going. Hopefully we can find a nicer variety. I really would like a peppy type. I don't know. I'm trying to keep my options open because I do want, for aesthetically pleasing <laughs> reasons, I do want forest creatures on the island. So I want to get a nice variety of different um, foresty type animals. So let's keep going. Island number four, another bamboo island. 
Who is here? Where are you? I don't see them. Where's our villager? Oh, there's somebody back there. Who is that? Is that... It's not a mouse. What is this? Who is this? Who are you? Where are you? Come to me. Oh, he's right there. <laughs> he's a frog. Henry. Oh, he's a little frog. He's pretty cute. Um, But we have Lily, so I'm going to leave him behind. He's got a cute little face, though, and a little <laughs> cute little rosy cheeks. We're going to keep going, though. I'm not going to settle for that. I feel like... Now that we have full spaces on the island, it's hard to just settle for anybody. I feel like in the beginning there's a little more leeway because you're collecting all the, the villagers to build up your island up to the 10. Um, but yeah, I don't want to settle. So I want to keep going until we find somebody we really like that fits. So pushing forward. <laughs> Let's see who's here. Who is this? Is this a deer? Zell! Oh! He's like too cool for school. I feel like he looks like a 90s like rocker guy. Uh, maybe somebody that was in like a 90s punk band and got into a lot of trouble and <laughs> I don't know. Like, he's he's kind of cool. Like I think I would like to have him at some point but I don't think he's a forest animal so we're gonna leave him behind. I want to say he's modeled after a gazelle, hence the name Zell. So that not really a foresty creature, so we're going to keep going. He's more of like a Sahara type of, like, I don't know, <laughs> African. I don't know, where, I don't know where gazelles are from. I want to say they're from Africa, right? Maybe if we ever do like a Lion King themed island. Rudy! Oh, I like the cats. So for anybody, um that is looking for a cat. I've done a little bit of research to find out like which villagers are pretty common and the cats I believe are like the least common to find as far as variety of animal types when you're island hopping so they are harder to find. Um, but I just don't, I already have Raymond and I don't want another cat on the island because it's already hard enough to incorporate one cat into a forest theme island. So we're gonna leave him behind but he is super cute. He's a jock, I've had him very briefly before on one of my other islands and he was very cute. All right, let's see. I like totally lost track of what ticket this is, so I don't know, but let's see who's here. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, it's Tangy. Tangy, oh my gosh, she's so cute. Look, she looks like a little orange. Oh my gosh, she says wow. <laughs> She's so cute. I want her. She would be perfect for the tropical themed island on Coco Bell. A little orange headed cat would be perfect. She is so cute, guys. Like, highly recommend her. If you see her island hopping, please don't do as I do and leave her behind. She is so cute. I had her for a very, very, very long time on my original island, and she was such a pleasure. Like, one of my besties. And Oh my gosh, it pains me to leave her behind because she's so adorable. So cute. And her house has like fruit furniture on the inside. It's just adorbs. Okay, let's see. <gasps> oh. What the heck, dude? RBF much? Like, why are you glaring at me? How is it you have such a cute little name and you are so scary looking? Oh my gosh! Did you guys see that? Her eyes turned red. It's a demon mouse. Why? No! I gotta go. I gotta go. Bye! <laughs> what the heck just happened? I think we need an exorcism here on this island. Wilbur, get us out of here! <laughs> She's gonna eat my soul! That was terrifying. I've never seen anything like that in my life. <laughs> oh my gosh, please, never again. 
Okay, let's see who's next. Let's see who's here. Hopefully it's not somebody that's so terrifying. Another mouse? Okay, what is going on? Who's this? Greta. She's kind of funny. Look at her little pursed lips. She's kind of cute. Um, I would sort of consider a mouse for Everbell. Just because I feel like a mouse could fit in the forest, but I... I don't think I would want her. Um, I think I would pick the one, is her name Penelope? The one that has the giant bow on her head for ears. Like, I think she's a peppy type and she's really super cute. So if I were to see her, I would definitely take her for Everbell, but pass, hard pass on the other two. <laughs> Not the mice that I want. <laughs> okay, let's keep going. Let's see who's here. I think we're gonna have to climb for this one. So let's get out our ladder. We have to work for this villager. Hopefully they're worth it. <gasps> oh, dear Lord. I can't. Nope. Mm-mm. Nope. Mm-mm. Bye. <laughs> I'm not even going to go ask. I don't even know what their name is, but I don't care to know. No. Mm-mm. No monkeys. <laughs> I have Dali on um, a tropical island, and he is very, very cute. Um, but that monkey was too scary <laughs> she had like the most neurotic eyes i don't know what was going on with that <laughs> oh my gosh okay <laughs> let's see who's next hopefully somebody good maybe we've flushed out the bad ones who's this i don't think i've ever seen this villager before they're a duck whoever they are Oh my gosh, is this like a mallard duck? Drake. Okay, I don't think I've ever seen him island hopping before in like oh, an entire year's worth of island hopping. I don't think, he said Quacko, that's cute. Oh my gosh, he would be very cute for a forest island. He's like a little um, mallard duck. Look at his little eyebrows though. He's got slightly angry eyes. I have an aversion to the angry eyes. I don't, I don't like the angry eyes. I need, I might need to like look him up to see what personality type he is. Um, gosh, he's, he's like really cute if he didn't have the angry eyes. I wish I could change his facial expression because I feel like a mallard duck would be so cute on Everbell, like next to our big lake or something like that. That would be so cute. I don't know what to do. Guys, what do we do? Do we keep him? Do we take him? I feel like it's pretty early on in the game um, to take him. I just wish he didn't have angry eyes. I feel like if his eyes weren't so angry, he just looks really peeved. Like, I don't, I don't want to see that every day when I wake up and say hello to my villagers. I want friendly faces, not angry eyes. I don't know. I just, he's really cool though. Like as far as being a mallard duck, that would be perfect for a forest or island. Okay. Anybody out there that's watching, if you guys have had Drake, please give me your reviews on what you think. If he was worth it, if he was nice, I don't know. Like, I hope I don't regret that choice because he would be cool, but the eyes are just too angry for me. <laughs> Dang, another bamboo island. Okay. We've had a lot of bamboo islands today. Who's this? Tucker. Oh, he's like a little caveman guy. I think he's supposed to be like a woolly mammoth, guys. He's cute. He is very cute. I like him a lot. Um, he definitely does not fit our theme, so I will be leaving him behind, but he's pretty cool. I think I would take him on uh, um, Coco Bell, the tropical island for sure. He's pretty cool. I really love some of the concepts that this game has brought about for the, the creativity and creating the characters, like how they have intertwined other species of animals within the sectors that they have. Like, Audi is a fox in the wolf section, I think is just brilliant, and there's a whole lot of them in the game that are like that, so I really appreciate the creativity. Alright, let's see who's here. Who is here? Where are you? I see your campfire, so where are you? <gasps> oh, is this Cranston? Cranston. I don't know if I want him. 
He's got kind of a cool mohawk vibe going on. Like, I'm just not really looking for that. I feel like one bird, we have Piper. Um, she's not an ostrich, but she's a bird and I really like her and I don't want her to go. So I don't, I think in no on Cranston. I don't know what he's supposed to be. Is he supposed to be like a, a crane maybe of some kind? I don't know. <laughs> All right, let's see who's here. Oh man, is this that lettuce-haired rhinoceros again? I think it is. He sort of, for some reason, reminds me of Guy Fieri. Tank, yeah, he's a jock. I see him all the time. I don't know why, I can't unsee it. Like, his hair looks like he's got a leaf, a leaf of lettuce, like, pasted to the back of his head, poor guy. God bless him. We're going to leave him behind again. I can't. <laughs> I just can't do it. <laughs> I've rejected him so many times. I probably should have put his fire out um, to see if it takes him out of the rotation. So I don't know. Yeah, it's a pass on tank. All right, let's see who's here. Oh, it's an orange island. That's not very common, I don't think, to see one of these random islands that has orange trees. I secretly really wish I had an, an island with orange trees on it. Like, for my fruit choice. Who's this? A bear. Kurt. Oh. Hobnobbin. Is he grumpy? He must be grumpy. He's got the deep voice, right? Let's get a look at your face. Kurt. Turn. Oh, gosh. He looks like he got in a bar fight last night. I don't think so. Definitely no. That's a hard pass for me. No. I'm going to say no. Okay, things have got to get better from here, right? I feel like we had a couple of really good ones. Tangy was a good pull. Olive was an amazing pull. I'm starting to regret that decision. <laughs> All right. Oh my gosh, another bamboo island. This is craziness. I probably should take some time to harvest some of this stuff while I'm here. <gasps> oh, I thought it was Blue Bear for a second. I was going to be really excited. It's Cody. Oh, he's kind of cute, though. A lot of cubs today on this island hop. I've seen him before, though. Um, I got excited for a second because I thought it was Blue Bear. I would totally take Blue Bear. I know we already have a cub on the island. But if it was Blue Bear, I definitely would have taken them. But Cody, I think I'm going to have to leave you behind, buddy. I'm sorry. We already have Marty, so we're going to keep going. <laughs> I'm still holding out that we'll see a squirrel. I don't, we haven't seen a single squirrel yet. And I'm really discouraged about that because I really, really, really wanted somebody to replace to live in the tree house. So I'm just trying to figure out how this is going to work because I don't think we have anybody that really would fit. <laughs> in a treehouse setting on Everbell right now. So I think um, the treehouse might have to sit vacant until we can find a replacement. Oh, Leonardo, he's so cute. Look at his little spots. He's adorable. Oh, who doesn't love a leopard that's a jock? He's so cute. All right, sorry, Leonardo, you don't fit a forest theme. Jungle theme, definitely. Forest theme, no. <laughs> yeah, so we have not seen any squirrels yet, and I'm very sad about that because I really want a squirrel on Everbell. Um, I've actually got Peanut, which is the pink, bright-colored, peppy squirrel on my tropical island. She was one of the first ones that I got back then. So we might have to just creatively transfer her over maybe via amiibo or something like that next time we have an open plot on everbell because i definitely want a squirrel so we might have to do something like that maybe we compromise and at some point just transfer her over <laughs> from the other island what is with the angry eyes today i think his name's lopez and no i'm gonna say no pez like bye <laughs> i don't want him <laughs> Oh, man. Okay, I feel like we're striking out really bad today. I'm so sorry. Like, I don't know, guys. 
we've still got a pocket full of tickets and just I feel like it's not really been anything that I'm super excited about and any of the ones that I have seen that I'm really excited about are not jiving with our theme so it's really frustrating I guess that's a benefit when you have a multi-themed island you don't have to consider themes and stuff like that <gasps> oh my goodness how cute we have to go say hi Daisy oh my goodness she's so cute look at her little periwinkle colored ears a little colorful sweater she is just Mwah. chef's kiss so cute I don't want to leave her oh my goodness she's so cute I wish I didn't have to leave her behind I just she doesn't fit forest theme at all either Oh man, that makes me so sad. I'm so sad. <sighs> okay, we're gonna keep going. I don't even know what number this is. I swear we probably burned through like 20 tickets at least by now. All right, let's see who is here. <gasps> Tangy again? Shut up. This Okay, like, if I was island hopping for another island, this would be, like, one of the luckiest things ever, and I would sort of find that to be very serendipitous, and I probably would be inclined to take Tangy if she, in any way, shape, or form, fit the theme, but she really, truly doesn't. Oh my gosh, she's so cute, though. I feel sad. Like, that is really, really lucky and very, a very good pull. Like, to get her twice, like, oh my gosh. She's so cute, guys. She's so cute. I just want to hug her. That makes me sad. I hate leaving the cute ones behind. All right, let's see who's here. We're going to keep going, guys. We're going to find somebody that's going to fit our island perfectly. We will. Oh. Pashmina. She has such cute little eyelashes. Like, girl, you got a strong cat eye. I wish I could do that myself. Mine turns out wonky some days, and hers are just, like, perfect. She's cute. I don't want a goat, though. I feel like a goat does not really go with the island theme necessarily, so we're going to leave her behind. Feeling sort of frustrated. I think I'm going to have to take a brief little break here. Um, I'm, I think I'm going to, like... Sometimes, for some reason, I don't have any way to prove that this is, like, factually backed up by any data in the game. But sometimes I think by walking out of the airport, taking, like, a quick minute or two break, and then getting back in sometimes, like, revives the queue in my mind. I don't know. Maybe it's just in my head. It's entirely possible it's in my head. But we're going to try it. Look at the rain here. This is really bad. It's, like, storming here on Everbell. Let's run over and see if... Whitney is awake because I really want to see inside of her house. So let's, let's see. <gasps> I think she is. Let's go in. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. I was so excited to find Whitney at our campsite. That was just like super awesome. <gasps> oh my gosh. Look at her place. You guys, it's so beautiful. Oh my gosh. She is so cute. And look at her place. It's gorgeous. It's purple. And she's got this beautiful rose bed. Oh, she's so cute. I love this. I didn't know that her house looked like this on the inside. It's so cute. She's got the wooden flooring and the little purple dotted rug. Oh my gosh. So cute. I'm so excited. Okay, well, this has lifted my spirits, definitely. I feel like I'm ready to get back on the plane. What about you? <laughs> Sometimes it just takes something small, I feel like, to, like, buoy your spirits to try to get through <laughs> the terrible, terrible selection of villagers we've gotten. <laughs> All right, let's see. Maybe this will shake the queue up enough that we will hopefully get somebody really cute um, or foresty. So, fingers crossed it's a squirrel. I really want a squirrel, but anybody foresty will be great. Um... So yeah, let's see what we can find. Let's hopefully we're going to get back on the plane. I'm going to put good vibes out there and we'll see who we come up with here. <laughs> I'm ready for takeoff. <sighs> I'm so nervous. I don't know what it is. Every time that dodo bird punches those keys in, I start to feel like a little sick to my stomach. I don't know what it is. It's like, 
<laughs> it's like excited nervousness and it never gets old I swear <laughs> all right let's see who it is let's see who it is please let it be somebody foresty please <laughs> all right let's see who's here I have to climb again a lot of climbing get our ladder out Oh my gosh, it's Cookie. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. What the heck? There's so many cute villagers we're getting today, but none of them are foresty. Cookie, she's so cute. She's a peppy little dog and she's pink and white and her house is pink and white and she's so cute. Maybe um, in the future, we'll have to do some videos on the original island Honey Bell, which is like a small town, small town theme. It's a multi theme, but it's like a little town. Maybe we could like turn it into like just dogs or just cats or something cute like that because I feel like there's so many cute cats and so many cute dogs in this game. It would be really fun to do something like that where the whole island is just themed in cats or all in dogs or something like that. It's just so cute. She's adorable. Highly recommend her to anybody that finds her, especially if you like the peppy types or the girly types. Yeah, she's cute. <laughs> oh, man, so many good ones. Just nobody that fits our theme. I'm really struggling today. Like, I don't know what's going on. I feel like, I mean, we've spent a lot of tickets so far. Bamboo Island. Okay, we've had a lot of bamboo. Let's see who's here. <gasps> oh, my gosh, guys. Guys, it's Eric. Oh, he's cute. Look, he's a moose. What is better fitting for Everbell than a moose? Oh my gosh, so cute. He's adorable. The only thing that I'm hesitating, the only reason I'm hesitating in this moment is he's a lazy type and we have a lot of lazy types on the island. I think he's so cute though. I mean, I'm almost willing to like eventually let someone else leave to sort of offset that because he really is cute. Like, Oh my gosh, so adorable. Look at his little face, guys. And his little sweater. He's so cute. I mean, I feel like a moose would be the perfect fit, right? We can't leave him behind. I can't leave Eric behind in good conscience, knowing that we're just going to have a parade of ant eaters and, like, just straight angry eyes out there. Like, he's so cute. Look at him. Oh my gosh. Should we invite him? I feel like we should, right? I don't know what to do. I think the only reason I'm hesitating is because we have Bo and he's very similar. As far as personality type, they're the same. They both have log cabins for houses, which I guess is okay on a forest island because it's totally fine to have more than one log cabin. He'd be really great on the backside of the huge lake too. I just, I don't know. We'll have to really think about this, but I think, I think I'm gonna regret it if I leave him behind. Because I don't know how often he pops up, but I don't see him island hopping hardly at all. I think we got to take him, guys. Let's invite him, okay? Let's ask him to come live at Everbell. Oh. <laughs> Look at his little sweater. He's so cute. Okay, yes, come live at Everbell, Eric. You're so cute. You can dip everything in gravy that I own. <laughs> it's totally worth it. We might have to, oh my gosh, shut up. Did he just say spaghetti? He said paschetti. He's so cute. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, I'm pretty happy about this. Like, not what I expected. Um, Not what I expected at all doing the island hop today. Like, I can't say for sure that he was even on my list of villagers that I was looking for, but I'm super excited because he's adorable. Um, Yeah, he's so cute. I think he's gonna be perfect. A moose is a perfect um, villager for a forest core island, so I'm excited. We'll have to do some shifting around um, because I can't move the plot until he actually fully moves in. So tomorrow he'll be in boxes. Day after that, he'll actually be fully unpacked and moved in. Um, so we won't be able to move his house for a couple more days, which is unfortunate. So. Guys, I'm sorry to say, we're going to have a moose living in a treehouse. 
<laughs> we're gonna have a moose living in this treehouse, which is so weird. But, yay, he's coming. Okay, we've got Eric coming, guys. I'm super excited about this. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you'll join me for the next episode. We'll be working on the secret beach on the backside of the island. Thank you so much. You all truly mean the world to me. I hope you all have an amazing day. Take care. We'll see you in the next one. Thank you.